Breaking news in West Seattle, an RV fire there that left several people injured. Amity Idrisi is there live now with the latest. Amity. Hey, Mimi, so the people in the southwest Seattle neighborhood woke up to the sounds of explosions and booms. And let me show you what happened. So this RV you're looking at right now apparently caught on fire around sometime around 7 o'clock this morning. Neighbors I talked to said that they heard booms, they heard explosions, and then saw people running out of the trailer, people who had been burned. What we're told by the fire department is that three patients, all around the age of 25, have been taken to Harborview. Two of them, a male and a female, are in critical condition. One other male is in serious condition. Now, investigators are in looking into exactly what happened here. Um, SPD is also on scene to help investigate. They did not explain exactly why, but they said they are always investigating when there is probable cause, although they did not go into that. So the people who lived here are known as occupants by other neighbors we talked to and people who, uh, who live in the area and have seen what they said was one man who lived in this RV has been living in the neighborhood for several months and been driving around uh, into different parts of the neighborhood. One woman we just spoke with said she was really getting concerned because they were accumulating a lot of what she called stuff, tires, uh, other debris that was around the trailer. As you can see now, that trailer is all but gone. Firefighters still uh, trying to make sure all the heat is out of this flame, make sure that there's nothing that is going to reignite or spark any more fires. And as you can see, there's also foam there um, all around this because they had to fight it with a different kind of retardant because of the chemicals involved in this. So. They took a defensive position on this. They knocked the fire down. We saw ladder trucks, so it was certainly a large response. Um, essentially, we're still trying to find out more information about exactly what happened, but the fire department wanted me to pass this on to you. If you have an RV, if you know of anyone who's living in an RV, even if you travel in an RV, install smoke detectors in your RVs. They don't have any fire suppression equipment usually built into them, so it's always a good idea. I'm Amity Dreeser reporting live from Southwest Seattle. I'm going to send it back to you in studio. All right, Amity, thanks for the update there.